What's up, everybody? It's Nerp here, and today's another ranked match. This is a very important ranked match because I'm actually number four on the ladder right now. Zark just Zark just leapfrogged me, and he is order also. Let's hope he does not have a turn one trap, but he does. But we don't have a bad hand either. And Zark is actually 1955. I'm 1953, so we want to get a win here to leap him. I'm gonna keep our starting out. I'd like to have a one drop or a wings warder, but it's all right. So let's see if we can beat Aya. Aya, whatever. All right. So he can see things on the board before us, which is kind of tough. But we can come back with some good stuff. So we'll sack the wings captain here. If I play the ducal infantryman, then um, next one if I play the wing shield. I'm not gonna play the Duke of Lemon He could just come down and kill me. <coughs> so let's see. And now he's probably gonna spread his units out. Good, he didn't. What well, wouldn't start if he put one there and one there and then he spread them out so then he can take me down. But now I can put two units down this turn or I could put one unit. Let's go for the two units. And I'm going to sacrifice the focus. Oh, thank you, Aya. Now what do I want to do here? Skirmisher, I guess, is the best. But yeah, I'll just go with the Skirmisher, actually. Okay. So now hopefully he doesn't have a, a pother to pother him. And hopefully if he does do a pother, it goes our way. And it would only be 50% chance. Or he could have a flip. And he does do the flip. Okay. At least he's not getting much else on the board. His units on the board are not that, like... They're not that, uh... Like, really strong. So we can still come back. And I will go ahead and... Sacrifice the Aging Knight. I'm going to play a Ducal Skirmisher. And next turn, I'm going to try to go for a Wing Shield and a Ducal Infantryman. And then hopefully I can get my way back into this match. I wonder what I is reading. So I should probably check that out. Let's see. And he gets a duke of his own, but he doesn't move up. I guess in case I have a busting pace and want to move up or something. Um, I could play an <coughs> another uh, skirmisher. It's pretty good actually, but. Nah, let's just go for the weak shield. I want an eternal sword, that'd be good. Let's put the duke in front because we want to protect you the most. And hopefully it doesn't have a pother. A pother and like a duke in the would be the worst. Sacrificing for scrolls. We're a little bit ahead in resource and he's moving down. No, he's not really moving down. He's moving down a little bit. But that's fine. That is fine. Now let's see if we can get like a big flipper pother, and we do get a big flipper pother. Hmm. So I pother here, so I don't have to stack the blessing of haste just yet. This would have a hundred percent chance of pother, and I can move down and kill it. But he's the real threat, and I only have fifty percent chance of killing him. I'm gonna stack the blessing of haste. See what I get. See if I can get like a flip. And don't. And if I use the pother, then I, I gotta use the pother though. I think. I think I have to. Just an eternal sword or something else would really screw me up, though. Our focus. You know, let's just get the wing shot out of the way. 50-50% chance is not a risk I'm willing to take. I could pother him down so I can destroy the wing shield that with a focus, but yeah, no. I ought to do that. So let's just go with the pother there. And I get a wings warder. That's nice. And yeah, that's good because now we don't need. Let's put the wings warder in the middle. We don't need the extra attack buff from the infantryman, and we can put a wings warder right there. So that was good. So now he'd need like lots of focuses <laughs> to break through to this guy, but we don't have a blessing of haste in our hand. Getting a blessing of haste or a bean potion would be really good because we have a focus in our hand. So let's see what he's able to do. What I really just want to see is him move down. That wouldn't be the best, actually, because then you could start paying idols and it's hard to block them. But 
on a sheer importance of units on the board, I think I have a clear advantage because we both have a Ducal Skirmisher, but then I'll take a Ducal Infantryman and a Wings Warder over a three count on Aging Knight and a Wing Soldier any day. But it's his turn, and he gets a Pother. Okay. So he's able to kill that. There's a two-thirds chance of that happening. But he's going to go there. Let's see, he has a focus. Just a focus, okay. So we're not completely dead. So let's get a, um, let's see, what would Decimation do? Decimation, I could kill you this turn. Let's sack the wings, Captain. See if we can get a Blessing Haste. Rosie Bean Potion, perfect. Awesome. Big turn right there. Huge turn. Yeah, that was really awesome. Uh, let's put you in front. I want to protect you a little bit. Uh, f one plus four, that's not enough. Oh, I should have gone for the decimation. That was a bit of a misplay, actually. I'll have to go with the focus instead. Yeah, I have to get rid of him. Does it lose? I'll consider that a misplay. Yes, I will consider that a misplay. I should decimation would be better. Wouldn't waste the focus. We do have another roast beam potion and decimation. I wish we had the focus and not the decimation. That'd be easier to use. And okay, Let's see, look, a um, roasted bean potion. Well, if we roasted bean potion here, well, yeah, you're actually already roasted bean potion, so I can just busting haste. If I busting haste you, you um, and then decimation, you can basically have five. That wouldn't be enough to kill you. Focus wood. That's what I'm saying. Drat. I'm gonna sack the decimation. The countdown reduction is all too good. He does not have relentless. I don't have a problem moving down. I don't think. Yeah. He has no relentless, so we're gonna move down. And now, hopefully, I can roast a beam potion or blessing of haste this vanguard and get some serious attack buff. Hmm. Another vanguard in hand if we can't do that. So, worst case scenario, like, he pothers, like, this thing out of the way, the wings warder, and then gets, like, a double blessing of haste, blessing of haste, <laughs> triple blessing of haste, or something. And I don't think he's good. Those are his cards. If they are, that would suck. Okay. Hmm. <coughs> Sorry. Rose Bean Potion. Maybe it's just a, foc a focus to kill this thing. Wings Word. Okay. So he is going to kill at least that. Which is fine. If that's all he's able to do. And now I can bust and face you. Let's see. Can we clear the board? If I'm saying I face you, you could, you're gonna have five. You're gonna have three. I would put you in. That's six right there. And okay, we can't clear his board with the cards we have in hand. Now I kind of wish I had the decimation back. Um, I will go ahead and kind of want the wing shield. I'm going to sack the vanguard. Decimation. There we go. That works, right? Because then that's basically a focus so let's see um you have roasted bean potion okay since we're gonna clear his ward i don't mind moving the wings warder out of the way and then i'm going to roasted bean potion so you have the extra move so i can use it later and you are you have roasted bean potion so let's see yeah you can move twice so it's decimation, and then clears board. Perfect. Okay. I guess he liked uh, how I moved out of the way to do the decimation. Yeah, she doesn't know I'm recording this. Hopefully, he watches on my channel. Okay. So there's a ducal skirmisher, and hopefully, I'm not sure what his rating is. Hopefully, it's high enough so we can get at least three rating um so we can pass zark for number three because i really want a weekly winners and this i'm not i'm gonna move down actually we are scared 
We are scared to death by any kind of relentless that he puts down. Um, I do like the cards I have in hand. I guess I like decimation. I like these units. Um, I think one one wings warder is enough. Should be. Let's put the wings warder back here. I don't love this guy in the front, but what can you do? And I'll put. And if he wants like flip this skirmisher because he's open, fine. Or I'll put the skirmisher up here. Yeah. If he has a roasted bean potion focus, then he can do that. But then that would likely be all that he can do because then I'd have a vanguard and a buffed up skirmisher attacking. So if he wants the roasted bean potion focus and take out these two units, it wouldn't be the end of the world. I hope he doesn't though. So maybe I should have gone with the safe play and put him down here. But I also don't want him to be able to just take out this five health vital in the middle because it's a very big like. It'll take out in uh, aggro order mirror matches or tempo order, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and if he isn't going to take this skirmisher out, I could blessing and paste him and hold like five attacks. So we could win this game really fast. So he's going to flip, blessing paste, and focus. Okay, I'm completely fine with that. Him using three cards, and none of them are like cantrips, so he doesn't get any cards back just to kill that one unit. And that just and that just takes up time for him where he can't uh, do much. So I'm gonna sacrifice the aging knight now. And I guess wing shield wings warder is the best play. Um, I do want to take out this middle idol. And move up, and then I have the I can go cleaver next turn to have seven attack, get the dominion off. But then I'm putting myself at risk for like a real like focus blessing and haste thing that would really hurt. But he didn't have the recipe potion focus, I guess, last turn. Maybe he did, I don't know. But I think he would have played if he did. So I'm going to do do that. And if he does kill me, I could still go with a cleaver at next turn and then blessing pace at the next turn. Um Yeah, and let's put the uh warder behind this row so we, we're not like pothered easily. So we have two orders, so we can't really do it, do any uh, flips or pothers unless he uses flips or pothers on our orders. But we're still, we're not immune to a roasted bean potion and like a couple focuses and an eternal sword. Yeah, they are because it protects against the the all the displacement spells order has. In fact, orders are good against the can energy also because it protects you against all the removal. The only thing orders really aren't that good against is growth, but it's still a two drop for four health that you could use as a nice blocker. So warders are a very strong card. And we only have one blessing of haste in our hand. So it doesn't look like the all four of these guys are on the same countdown, and I want this guy to buff them. So it doesn't look like I'll use a blessing of haste on any of them this in the coming turn unless I'm really threatened by something. So if all goes well next turn, I just probably move down maybe and stick a winged cleaver somewhere. Get another huge threat in the board, which is always good. We only have one real honest dude on the board right now. He moves back, so that feels good, and he gets a wings warder in front. Fine. And decimation, okay. So that's gonna hurt us a little bit, but not too bad. Uh I'll keep the paw there. So I'll just stack the winged soldier. Play the cleaver. Um Let's see. I definitely want to. Um, how am I gonna do this so everybody gets this buff, or mostly everybody gets this buff? Um. Well, you have roasted bean potion. You have roasted bean potion. Okay, let's do it like this. Um, let's put you in front. Let's put the cleaver there. Okay, so if he's able to like get a roasted bean potion on you and focuses and clears this row, we can have this cleaver come out with a blessing face the next turn. I have a father too. Okay. Um, I think three, power, 
to, yeah, he's gonna surrender. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think, I don't usually try to surrender, um, in these kind of mirror matches because you can really win the game with like a couple of all time attack buffs because you can just quickly take down idols. But I was definitely ahead in that match, so it was it would be hard for him to win. Oh no, I didn't say uh, GG. Sorry. Four, that's enough to put us in third, I think. Is it? I think it is. Did Zark just play another match while we were playing that match? No, yeah, I am in third now. Okay, good, so hopefully you see me win the weekly winners. Um, again, because last time I got this one, and then maybe I'll get the third one, then I'll get two, and then I'll get one, who knows. But um, I'm actually doing a lot of bulk recording right now because I have to like get seven videos recorded today because I'm going away to uh, for two weeks soon where I won't be able to upload, but I will be able to like be connected to the internet though. So I'll still be able to like reply to you guys and keep in touch, but I'll just dish out the videos every day still. So make sure you subscribe, like the video, or you can dislike. Just give leave a rating. The feedback is really helpful. Um, comment, and I will see you next time. Keep on playing Swirls. Oh yeah, by the way, um, some people like comment about like how my mic isn't that great. Well, not my mic, but there's like static noise. Static noise, and if you turn up the volume, you could hear beeping sounds. Um, I think that's gone down a little bit in the past like couple weeks, but it's still kind of noticeable. So I. I tried different things like Audacity and stuff, it doesn't help that much, but I am doing is I am just gonna, I'm getting a new mic like very soon, within the month, so hopefully you guys don't have to uh, listen to the a little bit of annoying sound that much longer, and hopefully that solves the issues, so just hold tight for that, and so I will see you all next time, see you guys.